Friends, we're gonna try this again. I deeply apologize. It has been madness. My whole system went down. I have no idea why. It's as if my son went back there and did something. But he didn't. He's not here right now. So, I deeply apologize. Hopefully we'll get you guys back on here. Uh, this is, this is nuts. Absolutely nuts. So we're gonna try this again here. Um, I apologize, uh, but we're just gonna gonna go ahead and hope that, <laughs> that the few hundred folks that were in here just a few minutes ago uh, are gonna come back. I'm here to help. Okay. So as we're waiting for a few folks to to get in here, um, wahoo, Antonio, you're 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 sweet. Thank you so much for being there. I appreciate you, buddy. Okay, here we go. Folks are piling in here. Guys, I apologize. I apologize. Watch at the beginning here. Um, I, I'm so sorry. I'm here to answer your questions. Uh, here we go. Completely went down. All right. All right. So let's get to some. Let's get to some questions. Um, in the meantime, I'm. As I'm going to be looking for your questions here, I am so sorry, guys. That has happened to me like one other time that severely. Uh, I don't even know what happened. I don't know if it'll happen again. I hope it doesn't because I've got another broadcast here in about 45 minutes. So uh, I'm going to stay with you, though, until the very end of this one. Okay, so we're, we're only going to be cut short just a little bit. It's just we're delayed a little bit, okay? Thank you, friends. So sweet that, um, so sweet that you're... Uh, so forgiving. Thank you. All right. So let me know any questions. Anyone want fish tacos? Yes. So anyone, let me know if you have any questions. And uh, but I'm going to tell you a little bit about uh, where I got cut off, which was the guided uh, unstoppable guitar system. So so hard to get back into the <laughs> get back into it. So what I did is I took that, that Unstoppable Guitar System standard and I made it to where it's a step-by-step, day-by-day, and a, has a guided video. So every single day, you're going to get a prompt, an email with a video that's going to say, hey, this is what we talked about yesterday. Let's go over that. Let's make sure we have that down. Don't start today's lesson until you've done that bit. So what it does is it keeps you accountable to the program, okay? And I can promise you, look me in the eye socket as I tell my son, I can promise you that if you do this course, and it, which is completely free, if you do it, you are going to have huge gains in your guitar playing. I wish that I had had it back in the day. I did not. I had a guitar teacher who didn't want to be teaching guitar. He wanted to be playing classical guitar. Uh, in, on a circuit or something, which is not an easy thing to do. And he did not want to be teaching. And I don't know if you've ever run into that, but I've run into that where you have a teacher and they just don't want to teach. And it's the worst, okay? So, um, no fun. Okay, still trying to... You should have seen, I'm, I was just screaming just a few minutes ago. And I usually keep it pretty pretty chill, but I was so upset at my whole system. I don't know what happened there. All right. All right. Are the 30 challenge videos updated from new information from five years ago? Yes, they are, uh, Jeffrey. In fact, uh, they were done, I'd say, within the last year. And what I did is I said, okay, this system's great, but let's move this video over here. In this video, let's take out that information because they, they know about that and I covered it here also. And in this video, let's put a little bit more information about blank. So basically, it's kind of like when you get an update with your phone, um, you know, where you're like, oh yes, I always wanted that to work and then now it works, you know what I'm saying? And so that system is set up, like I said, the first three days, you're gonna watch three videos per day. And then after that, it's one video per day, okay? It's as simple as that. God, I thought I, I thought the machine crashed again. Uh, Carl, this is live. Yes, I'm gonna put your thing on the screen here just so everybody knows. Yes, this is live, Carl, okay? 
uh, and Jeffrey just put this up. Um, so, and not only that, Jeffrey, is I have these guided videos and it's a day-by-day -day type of thing, so it trickles out. Why do I do that? Well, for years I had it where anybody could just get in, do whatever, whenever, and that's fine. Uh, for most posts, for most folks, I would say that's fine. But what I wanted to do is I wanted to make something that was impossible to mess up. And I made it impossible to mess up because if you go day by day by day, you can't mess up in this, okay? You're going to keep going. Um, and so for those folks, I wanted to make something that there was just no way that you're going to mess up, you know? Thank you, Benjamin. Uh, I'm back. I am back. Oh, good. Proud, proud Republican says, thanks for the inspiration. I have finally figured out how the fretboard works. Thank, thanks again. Good. Uh, I love that. Um, you know, there are so many things about the fretboard that if you understand, like in this whole thing that I was teaching about the blues, you know, that you have little sections of the fretboard. Like my friends, like one of my students said, hey, I know you have those five shapes. You know, but how, is there anything that I can go to that I can just find all over the fretboard? And that's exactly this. It's all the same stuff, right? It's all the same notes, different octaves. Um... is all the same, right? Um, uh, thank you so much, Elizabeth. I appreciate that. Beautiful. All right, so questions about you. Let's, let's get into it, man. What is it that's keeping you from becoming a great guitar player? Because everybody in here is wanting to be a great guitar player, right? Either that or you just love to hear me drone on and on, and I don't think that's the case, okay? Willie, this, thank you for asking, this is actually, okay, so you know, you guys know I have a 65 Strat and I love it, absolutely love it, but this is not even, shh, it's not even a, a Fender, okay? Uh, I bought this from somebody who, uh, who custom makes guitars and they put the, the decal on it, and, uh, but it's all to spec, and it's been weathered and just the whole nine yards. And I love this guitar. Uh, it plays, I'll argue that it plays just as good as my 65 and I don't have to worry about it on stage. I don't have to worry about it. If it gets stolen, that eh, would suck, but it's not like having uh, a 65 stolen, right? That would, that would seriously suck. So, okay. Now, Heen is saying here, um, still confused, the how to play in whatever tune at any given moment. Do I need to learn every chord in every key and every note on the guitar? How do the ones who don't read music do it? Okay, Heen, let's talk about it. So, there are a few concepts that you have to learn. So, just like in anything, don't get overwhelmed, number one. There's literally... A handful of things that if you do those things and don't go looking here and there another way and try to look for even a shorter shortcut if you learn these few things you will get this heen let's talk about what those are you got to know the major scale this is covered in the free course I'm giving you okay it's covered the major scale is covered you got to know the major scale and you got to be able to count it like this one two three Three, four, five, six, seven, one. You gotta be able to count it like that. And, you, and best of you can play it in one position, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. Why is that? Well, because if you know that, then you know where all your bass notes are at. And if you know what chords are built upon that, which I'll tell you in just a moment, then you're, and you know what key you're in, then you're set. Okay, so let's go backwards. We've got to know what key we're in first. What do you mean by key, Eric? Well, the key 
is the central note. It's the one note that all the other notes revolve around, come back to, want to gravitate back to. It's king, if you will. If you're playing chess, it's the king on your board. Everybody else is trying to protect that king, including the queen, okay? So think about that as being the one single note. Now, once I, if I took a bunch of songs and started pointing that out to you, as I do in many videos, um, then you're going to start getting keen to this idea of, oh, there is the key. There's a tonic, okay? So suffice to say, whether you believe me or not, there's one note that all the other notes and chords revolve around in a particular song, and that's called the key. It's called the tonal center. Once, listen, once we know that note, we know, we unlock just like 99% of everything, okay? If you know these couple other bits, okay? So for instance, I'm listening to something. In fact, here you go. Um, my singer will probably kill me for doing this, but... Um, I won't do that. That song hasn't even come out in public yet. Um, I'm trying to think of a song that I could do, though. Um, okay, I've done it with many songs before, but, but essentially, once you find the tonal center, how do you do that? Well, I have a whole video on that inside of YouTube, but essentially, it's like this. The first chord of the song, the last chord of the song, the last note of the chorus, usually denote what the key of the song is. I say it's like you're a detective and the first chord may not be the key of the song. The last chord may not be the key of the song. The last note of the chorus may not be the key of the song. But chances are two of those are going to pan out. Okay? Not always. 99% of the time. And I'd say 95% of the time, all three of those are going to line up. Okay? So it's a good rule of thumb. Once you find out what that note is, and you can play the major scale, then it's very easy because there are rules in music. So for instance, watch this. If I'm listening to a tune and I, and I, go, and I decide, okay, the key is G. Well, the chords, well, first off, the scale goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. I cover that inside the course that you get for free today. Uh, links in the description of this video, okay? So there's that. Got to know the major scale and you got to be able to count that way. Then you have to know what chords go with each one of the notes. And it's easy. It goes major, minor, minor, major, major, minor, diminished. This is also in the course that I'm giving you, okay? Under the capo section, you're going to see a chart and it'll show you all the chords as they're mapped out, okay? I'll do it again. Major one, minor two, minor three, major four, major five, minor six, diminished seven. You don't play the diminished seven. So really you just have to memorize those, those six chords. Major, minor, minor, major, major, minor. Okay? Major, minor, minor, major, major, minor. So if I'm listening to a song and I'm like, oh, there, Eric's right. The first chord of the song was a G. It started off like this. <laughs> Okay, and, and there's the end of the song and they go. You've heard people do that, right? That's the tonic. So if you know what that is and you say, okay, that's a G, then we play our scale. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. And then each one of those notes gets a chord. So major one, minor two, minor three, major four, major five, minor six, Diminish seven, but we don't play that one very often, so don't worry about that. And a major one, so really it's six chords you need to memorize. And again, I have that for you in the course. So, Heen, when I'm listening to a song, what I'm gonna do immediately is I find the tonal center. Once I know the tonal center, I know what notes are most likely gonna appear and the chords that are most likely that are gonna appear. And then what I do is I listen to the bass note and I, and I go, okay, well, that's going up, okay, that's going down. And then I follow the bass note and I use the rule that I just gave you. So if I hear the bass note go, and I hear it go to that, I know that that chord's an E minor because the six is minor. And if I hear it go up, I know that's a major chord more often than not, 97% of the time. 
And if I hear it go up to the five, I know that's a major chord. Because that's the way music works. It's very, very simple if you know the rules. The thing is, people don't know the rules. And no one teaches it. It's bonkers. It, it makes me so mad. Uh, in school, they, they taught it, like I say in school, in, um, uh, in music school. I was a music major for three years, classical music major, until I changed my, my, my major. But uh, they did not, they taught it, but oh my God, it was so far into the course that they taught it. It should be taught right in the beginning. It's so easy to do, you know what I mean? Okay, that's a great question. I love that. Um, all right, good. Let me know if that answered it for you, okay? Antonio is saying, would you recommend a PV Tracer guitar? Uh, I've had PVs before, and they actually make some pretty good stuff. Uh, you don't see them much these days because I don't think they, they, they're in business anymore. But yeah, man, they make some good stuff. I, I love PV stuff. It's been focus and attention. Squirrel, <laughs> Jeffrey's saying, been holding me back. I know, it's true. So what you want to do, uh, Jeffrey, then, what you want to do is, look, mindfulness. You guys have heard this. We live in an age now where a lot of people are meditating. A lot of people are practicing mindfulness and breathing exercises and cold water therapy and all these things. They really help to focus the mind, truly. If you don't know how to do this, it's literally as simple as whatever it is that you're doing, observe it, okay? So if I'm playing guitar, I'm not, or if I'm eating, here's a perfect example. If I'm eating a meal, I'm not also surfing on the phone. It's a new practice that I've done for, I don't know, a year now. Reason being is because it's taking away of my enjoying the food. I'm not present and my taste buds are not as awake as if I took this thing and I put it down and I ate the food. Observing the food, looking at the color, smelling it, tasting it, that's, that's presence, right? That's uh, here and now. And it's the same way, Jeffrey, when we're playing guitar. So if we're learning the nine essential chords as I teach you in this, um, I teach you why they're nine essential and why they're, why they're so important. I don't need my earbuds anymore. Um, I teach you why it is that they're so important. And if you, if you understand that and then, you, and then you learn those nine chords, you're gonna be so focused on just that, okay? And then when it's time to play some songs, you're gonna have that at your behest, okay? Okay. If you would, guys, make sure there's a question mark, too, because sometimes I'm not sure if you guys are asking questions or not. Um, and so I want to make sure that, that you're asking a question, okay? So that, that helps me with the question marks with all the comments, okay? So Dax is saying, how do you get a good-sounding bar chord? I know it's like the left side of your finger, but could you explain some more? Dax, yes. So first off, there is no thing that you cannot do on your own without instruction, but instruction helps. Hence my guitar, my uh, video on why you don't need a guitar teacher. You don't need a guitar teacher. You don't need a coach, a health coach. But it's helpful to have people who know more than you and can guide you through something, right? Very helpful. So first off, you could just get it on your own, Dax, just like gaming. You're into gaming, right? You learn a game, you pick it up, you don't read the instructions, you just go to it, right? And you start learning stuff very quickly because you're learning through just doing, right? So you could do the same with playing bar chords. However, here's where it gets interesting, is if you know some things, you can go much quicker. So Dax, I have a video called the effing F chord. I have a few videos regarding that, how to play the F chord. And if you understand how to play the F chord, it opens up hundreds of chords for you, okay? Or if you have the dexterity to play an F chord, it will open up hundreds of chords for you. Now, this is the key to it. So Dax, we've got our F chord here, okay? Is that playing? It is, okay, sorry. I don't have my headphones in so I can't hear it. Um, so, F chord. 
If we play an F chord, you just go to play a bar chord right away. It might get a little bit frustrating because you've got two, maybe three notes that aren't sounding. So what I say is break it down to two notes at a time. Okay, so like this. If our F chord is this whole thing, what I want you to do is just play, just play one and two. Okay, strings one and two of, of, what, it, of what the F chord would be. Okay, so you, so you position your, your hand like this and then lift up those other fingers and just play strings one and two. Then play strings two and three according to the F chord. Then play strings three and four with the fingers that you would use. Then play strings four and five. Then play strings five and six. That's the first test. If you can get through it, great. You've passed the test. Then go to three notes at a time. Strings one, two, and three. Then two, three, and four. Then three, and four, and five. And it's good to arpeggiate because you can hear if a note is dudding out. And then four, five, six. And then you're going to do, so great, you did that, you passed the test. Now four notes at a time. And then five notes. Once you get to the five, five notes, then you'll be able to do the six note major uh, chord, okay? And then watch my video on bar chords because you can take that. Remember each chord turns into 12 chords. 12 keys, right? So if I show you this chord, and then I show you that lifting your pinky makes a seventh out of it, or lifting your middle finger makes a minor chord out of it, each time I'm showing you a new chord, it's literally creating 12 new chords for you. Does that make sense? Yeah. So, you know. So you can come up with hundreds of chords very quickly, okay? Make sense? Good, good. All right. <laughs> My brain went kaput. Okay, I'm not sure on what part. You'll have to let me know. Okay, so Willie's saying here, I like how the natural chord progression moving moving up is for a positive vibe and chord moving down is a negative vibe. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Is music theory necessary? Ivan is saying. Here is the deal. That's a great question. I love this question. Ivan, it's kind of like this. It's basically just the knowledge of music. So you cannot play music and not use music theory. It's physically impossible. I know Dave Grohl says, I don't know music theory. Dave Grohl doesn't know that he doesn't know music theory. He knows music theory. He knows at least enough to have platinum albums. Of course he knows music theory. He just doesn't know that he knows music theory. He knows shapes. So, you know, any rose by another name, right? It's still a rose or something like that, whatever that expression is, a rose by any other name. I don't know. I don't know the expression. Something like that. But basically, if for years I call this a plectrum, and I'm wondering what the heck a pick is, because in England they call this a plectrum, and for years and years and years I'm like, what? what's a guitar pick? I don't even know what these guys are talking about. Hey, hand me my, my plectrum. I need to play. Obviously, I'm playing with a pick, but I'm calling it a plectrum. So you can't play music that sounds good and not know some music theory. You're knowing shapes, even if it's just, eh, I don't know music theory, I know the blues scale. Well, that's music theory, okay? Anything to do with, with the knowledge of music is music theory. So, the question might, might better be, you know, how much music theory do we need to know? And the answer to that is, you don't need to know a ton to be really, really, uh, to be a great guitar player. That's exactly what I show you inside of 
the Unstoppable Guitar System standards. It's literally the, the free course that I give you guys. I teach you like the major scale. I teach you how to find those chords. I teach you the, uh, the nine essential chords. I teach you how to, how to know uh, that the one's major, the two's minor, three minor, four major, five major, six minor, like I just told you, right? All of that is in there. And if you know those things, then yes, you can do so much stuff. So you don't need to know a ton of music theory. So the answer is, do you need to know music theory? If you know a smattering of the right music theory, it will make you such a better player than not knowing those little bits and pieces. But it's only a little bit that you need to know, okay? It's only a little bit that you need to know. Do I play the bass guitar? I do a little bit, you know? Uh, I just bought an HSS American Str Stratocaster for less than a thousand bucks. Is that a good deal? It's like new, almost never played. Yeah, probably so. Could be, could be a good, could be a decent one. Heen, oh, thank you so much for the super chat, man. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Uh, thanks, you helped me. I read music. Uh, just could never translate to guitar. So Heen, one of the things that I teach inside of that course as well is tablature. So tablature is a way of knowing exactly where to play on the guitar without having to read music. Okay, it'll tell you the exact place to play on the string, on the fret, that sort of thing. It's super helpful, okay? So you'll wanna check out for that. You wanna check that. What kind of AirPod to use? I'm not sure what you mean by that. Oh, RJ, thank you so much, my buddy. Um, I'm not sure, Matthew, I'm not sure what you mean by that. What kind of AirPod to use? RJ, thank you so much for the kind words, buddy. Well, you should have seen me uh, 45 minutes ago when this, when my whole system went down, but so kind of you. If you guys don't know who RJ is, check him out online. He's literally one of my favorite guitar players. Definitely one of my favorite local players in Nashville, but the guy um, just emotes uh, his soul into his playing. He's a fantastic player. Love you, RJ. All right, I use Apple AirPods, uh, Matthew's saying, okay. Um, all right. Okay, Antonio. How can I learn the fretboard? It's because I'm almost a complete beginner. Antonio, that's fine. I won't go into it right now because I literally have that inside of the course that I'm giving you. But essentially, you learn the open strings first. E, A, D, G, E, E. Okay, the open strings. Then you learn the musical alphabet, which goes from A to G. There's no H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. It's just A to G. And to know that every note has a sharp except for B and E. So I would say um, it's not, you know, what, what's the, the expression? It's not sharp uh, to do a B and E, a break in an entry, right? To steal, go in someone's home and steal something, break in an entry. It's not sharp. You're not smart if you do that. So um, if you think about that, B and E's don't have a sharp, then it's really easy to go up the neck, okay? I won't go into all that detail since I have that, that, that lesson available for you inside the course, Antonio, okay? Uh, yes, the cage system. But so Antonio just needs to know the notes first. But yes, a couple things that will help you know the fretboard in an elevated way after knowing, first you gotta know the notes, right? Because it's not gonna make any sense if you don't know the notes and you don't know how the basic construction of the alphabet goes. So you gotta know that first, okay? Do that. Other things that will help you immensely is the adjacent string trick. So I teach that, I have a video on YouTube about that and I have a whole section inside of UGS on that. Minimalistic blues, a whole enchilada there. Uh, the caged system, C-A-G-E-D. I have videos on YouTube for that. I have lots of videos inside of uh, Pro for that to know major chords, seventh chords, minor chords, whole, whole enchilada, okay? Ah, beautiful. This is nice, Brian. Imagine playing Mortal Kombat, but not knowing the combos and finishers. Music theory is like that. Absolutely. Otherwise, you're just you're throwing haystacks, right? <laughs> That's, that'll only get you so far. All right. Wow. Listen to this question. 
Love this, Bryce. From one to 10, how happy and fulfilled are you with your life? Well, you know I wouldn't have put that on the screen if I wasn't very happy and fulfilled. Bryce, this is literally my mantra. Five years ago, at a Tony Robbins event, it became, that was my mantra is, my, I, Eric Andreas Mankey, uh, that's my last name, uh, I, I see, feel, hear, and know that the purpose of my life is to be happy and fulfilled. And there's more to it than that. But you come up with a, with a mantra uh, that, that you base your life around, and that literally happy and fulfilled is, is what was in my mantra. Now, I've recently changed that a little bit to uh, money and chicks. No, I'm joking. It's, ha it's still happy and fulfilled, but it has to do, uh, I forgot exactly, I'm not in the right frame of mind right now to be thinking about it since I'm still frustrated with the daggone thing there. But, um, but you know, being happy and fulfilled is definitely a big part of life because if you, don't if you don't have the wherewithal within, how can you help others, right? The only reason that I'm here right now teaching you guys is because I'm happy and fulfilled. And if I was searching for something, I wouldn't be online pouring out. I would be trying to get, right? And I get. I mean, I do my meditations. I do my yoga. I do I work out. I walk on the beach. I do breath work. I do hot saunas and cold showers and cold plunges and all that stuff. I do all that because I find it to be uh, very invigorating and very. Uh, it keeps me mindful and it keeps me, you know, on the path. Each one of those things do. Prayer, just all of it. So uh, beautiful. So Bryce, the answer from one to 10, how fulfilled am I? I would say an eight. And the reason it's not a 10 is because I know there's other things that I can do. And I know, and not even so much doing, but just being, there's other ways that I can be that would make it that a 10, you know? All right. Beautiful. Thank you so much. Um, oh, beautiful. Okay, Benjamin said, teach the cage system. This was the go-to for me. A new world will open up to you. Absolutely. And I use it all the time. Willie's saying, uh, do you have any advanced courses? Willie, I have more advanced courses than I have beginner courses. So unfortunately, one of the things about having 600,000 plus people in a beginner's course is you get a reputation online for being the beginner guy. Well, that's great. That's fine. I love beginners. I want to help as many people as possible. But I have way more intermediate and advanced lessons than I, would, than I ever have uh, beginner lessons, okay? Uh, at least within my course, okay? Now on YouTube, I try to keep things pretty simple because folks haven't gone down the rabbit hole yet as many. Um, so, uh, but, I, but definitely so much. And Willie, um, if you go to... Okay, so I did a video earlier today that, that basically opened up the seven-day trial. So if you want to just check it out, get inside the system, it's 100% money-back guarantee anyhow. So even if you just went in and, and uh, bit the bullet and, and, and got into the course and paid and what have you, we, we still have a 60-day money-back guarantee. But if you want to try it out and pay nothing, we have a, a seven-day trial. You can try yourguitarsage.com slash trial. Uh, I'm pretty sure that one will work. Try that, yourguitarsage.com slash trial, and that one should get you there, okay? Otherwise, I did, a, I did a lesson today on blues lead guitar, and in that, there's a link to, to get in there because I was teaching people how to play blues lead guitar and was curating videos for them and showing them how to get in there, okay? Okay, are there live streams on the 30-day challenge? Sonia is saying. Uh, this is the live stream, okay? So there are not other live streams uh, with the exception of, you know, when I come on here and do live events. It depends on... The time continuum. There are times where I've gone live, you know, 35 times in a month. And then there's times where I hadn't gone live for several months. So it just depends. Uh, but slated, we don't have anything per se other than this one. However, Sonia, you have access to me inside the 30-day challenge. You have email access. So if you're on a video and you're like, man, I understand it except for this one part and you type a question in there, I will get that question 
and I will answer it, and I do this every day, multiple times. I just pull it up on my phone, answer my questions, get in there and help my, help my folks out. So it's there for you, okay? This is, uh, this is Stu. Are you palm muting as you play chord notes cleanly as you have been doing? So, I mean, sometimes I do. So like, um, you know, if I was doing like, um, I don't know, that sort of thing, you know? You know, then I'm muting, right? But so yeah, I mute sometimes. You just take this fleshy part of your palm, put it right on the bridge there, and get it to where it sounds good to you when you play the chord. That's all you need to do. Okay? That's a great question. Uh, Carl said, you said in an earlier live feed that I didn't need to sign up for the challenge since I'm a pro member, but where was a PDF to download? Where is it? Okay, Carl, it would be in the video, okay, in the description of the video that you watched earlier. So if you watched the blues lead uh, bit that we did, then that's where you're gonna wanna go. Otherwise, Carl, if you're in the program already and you're wanting to do that, blue, that blues lead guitar challenge that we talked about this morning, then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the advanced plus tab. There's an advanced plus tab at the top. You're gonna to click on it and the very first course that's underneath that is the call and response course. There's a beginner, intermediate, and advanced section there. Start with the beginner for sure, okay? Great question. Ah, that's so funny. Bryce is saying I was asking the question because of Tony Robbins. Thank you. I love Tony, man. Um, yeah. Heen walked over hot coals in New York City with Tony way back in 1984. Beautiful. Yeah, I've done that. I've jumped off of the... He's got this thing. Oh my God, this blew my mind. And if I had known that he was going to do this, I probably wouldn't have gone. But it was a challenge that we did. It was in Life Mastery. And you're harnessed in, so you're not going to die unless the harness breaks or something gets screwy. But basically, you climb to the top of, I think it was a 30 or 30, 40 foot telephone pole. Like, you know those staples that are on the side that you see people crawling up? You crawl, you crawl up to the top of that thing. You stand on top of the pole, which is no easy task, might I add, especially when it's windy and you're on the beach. So they put these poles into the ground. You walk up to the top of this post and you have to stand on a platform that big. I mean, it's the top of a, of a telephone pole. Your feet barely fit on it. And you're like, well, I got nothing to pull myself up. So you got to get up somehow and stand up on that thing. So I stood up on that thing, not looking down the whole time. And they have a trapeze that's just out of reach. I mean, as you're just like, am I going to get that? And so you, what you got to do is you got to jump. You got to heave yourself out there and grab that trapeze. And so I did that, blew my own mind. Uh, that was so meaningful to do that. I mean, so many people were weeping. Done the hot coals. That was beautiful. All that stuff has been very, very, uh, very helpful for me, for, for your soul, man. You know? So, uh, beautiful stuff. I can't recommend Tony Robbins enough. The guy is an absolute beast when it comes to psychology and it comes to getting over your crap. If you love being in your crap and you love excuses, don't go see Tony Robbins because he's going to work that out of you, okay? Otherwise, if you're done living a certain way, I don't care what it is. His techniques work. The guy's a master of it. Think about, you know, what I do with guitar, except this guy's dedicated even more to helping people through things. Just pull up any Tony Robbins videos on YouTube. The guy will literally change your life. He's been, I mean, I can't tell you how many different ways he's absolutely changed my life, you know? Um, Antonio saying, so would you recommend your UGS Pro or your Udemy courses? Because I already bought that one. That's okay, Antonio. Uh, UGS Pro, by far. It's just got way more in it. Uh, it it's, it's, the, it's the cream of the crop. 
Um, you have three live broadcasts with me every month. You have instant access to me via email. Uh, way more videos, thousand plus videos. You get 365. You don't get that the 365 guitar plan, which is a whole nother course. Um, that's not included in you to me. Uh, all the updated videos, all the updated courses. Uh, there's so many great things inside of UGS that you don't get inside the Udemy course. Now, the Udemy course is the number one course, technically, uh, by number of students. The number one course in the world. There's literally no other course that has that many students in it uh, that I'm aware of. If there is, let me know, and I won't say that anymore. But as far as I know, it's the it's the biggest one. So that being said, it's a great course. There's a reason that there's like 300 something thousand people in there. But the real gem is the Unstoppable Guitar System uh, Pro. Okay, Marine Mama, how's it going? I'm still working on the karate chop. I don't know why it's a challenge for me. That's all right. That's okay. It takes some time. Thank you, uh, Bryce. I love that. Really kind. Ah, uh, beautiful. Love that, Willie. Well, you've come to the right place, friend. Okay. Uh, Jody is saying, UGS Pro since 2018. Love it. Yeah. Uh, my 17-year-old daughter just started playing bass. Can these lessons be applied to bass guitar? If not, can you recommend an online bass instructor as good as you? Thank you so much. I don't know of one, Jody. I really don't. Um, maybe someone else can suggest, but I just don't know of another. I don't know of one online. I wish I did. I would like to give you a name, but I don't have one. Okay. Uh, friends. I hate to cut it off here, but I have another broadcast that I need to do for my pro folks here in four minutes. <laughs> okay, so we're literally, I'm gonna go live immediately right after this. So I need to, I need to run to the restroom real quick, get a, a drink of water, and then I'm going live. So for my pro folks, I'm gonna be with you in just a minute. Thank you, friends, for coming back. I am so sorry about the, the technical difficulties. Hopefully I've got it handled here, because um, we did not crash, so. <laughs> All right, click that link that's in the description of the video. Get in there, have fun. I'm here for you. I want to get, I want to get you to the next level of guitar. I know we can do it together. I've got literally thousands of free videos for you. Enjoy the course. It's on me. All right, enjoy it. Love you guys. I'll see you in another video. Thank you so much for the kind words and all. And thanks for coming back. And if you're in pro, get over and see me there. I'll be there in now uh, three minutes. Okay, see you then. Bye.